Hello viewers, I am Sudarshan and in this video session we are going to discuss about the gate characteristic of SCR. So before discussing this gate characteristic in detail, let us just try to understand what are the uh, parts or, or the portion of the waveform shown here or the portion of the characteristic shown here. And to understand this we must just briefly discuss about the voltage and current ratings of the SCR. So usually whenever an electronic component is being manufactured, find the manufacturer also publishes the data sheet along with it. Now why, what is data sheet and why it is important? So if you have gone through the data sheets before, so you would find the voltage ratings, current ratings and power rating and many more ratings related to that particular component. And by preferring the voltage current rating, fine, we could uh, decide, I mean which or within what range the voltage or current should be applied so that the component would work satisfactorily without being damaged. So to make our design work properly, fine, we must prefer the uh, voltage and current rating given in the data sheet. So similarly, based on that, this gate characteristic is being drawn over here. So what is uh, given on the x-axis here you can see is Ig minimum and Ig maximum. So what is Ig minimum? Ig minimum is the minimum gate current required to trigger the SCR. So for triggering of an SCR, I mean to turn on the SCR, fine if you are using the gate terminal to trigger the SCR, so the current uh, that should be flowing through the gate terminal of a SCR should be more than Ig minimum. So if the gate current is more than Ig minimum, then and then only we could say the SCR could be triggered properly. At the same time, the voltage applied to the gate terminal must also be greater than the VG minimum. So VG minimum is the rating that would be given in the data sheet as well. So if you apply the voltage to the gate terminal of an SCR such that it is greater than VG minimum and which also allows the current to flow through the gate terminal of SCR which is above IG minimum this is where then we can say SCR could be triggered uh, and could be turned on. Another important thing that what we should take care is about the VG max and IG max. Now what is VG max is maximum gate voltage that is allowed to be applied across the uh, gate terminal of an SCR. So VG max is the maximum allowed voltage fine that could be applied to gate. Uh, so that it could work satisfactorily. Any voltage above that could uh, damage the SCR. Fine. Similarly, Ig max maximum allowable current or maximum allowable current flowing through the gate terminal of an SCR. So we are or we must better take care that the gate current must not exceed the um, Ig max value. Now here in this characteristic uh, you can see two curves. Fine. Here in this characteristic you can see two curves. One is this curve number one and another is curve number two. So these are the two curves drawn. Now uh, as far as we have discussed the working of an SCR in the past, uh, I hope you remember every single concept taught by me uh, very clearly and I hope you have understood everything fine. Uh, so what are these two curve, curve representing over here? See basically if you see the characteristic you find that it's an IG on the X axis and VG on the Y axis. So what this curve number one represent is fine it represents that here you can see if I just roughly assume this is a voltage. So say for x, x is the value of voltage fine applied across the gate so as to allow I mean or so as to flow the gate current of say this specific value fine anything anything value if I say uh, this value fine say y. So if I am applying the x voltage, fine, y will be the value of current flowing through the uh, gate terminal, fine. And here you can see, fine, less voltage is required to flow the uh, gate, maximum gate current. Similarly, if I say this is the curve to, and if I just timing just ex exit this curve, fine, keeping the same, and I just exit this projection over here, fine. So for the same value of current, here you can see the value of voltage required is more somewhere around say now if I just say point Z right now. So to allow the same value of current flow through the SCR fine in one case the voltage required is very less that should be applied to what I can say gate terminal. So the gate voltage required is very less and in another, another case the second case the gate voltage required is more. So why this is so I mean uh, if you just consider the SCR fine. So 
for this x is minimum gate voltage required to flow the y amount of current and z is also gate voltage required to flow y amount of current so compared to x and z the x i mean the voltage at this point x is very less so less voltage is required to flow the same amount of current in case of scr number one and z is the voltage which is greater voltage should be uh, required to be applied across the gate to flow the same amount of current so why this is uh, because is uh, we have already discussed about the doping of the scr so uh, if the scr's p and p n region if they are heavily doped right if they are heavily doped okay so if they are heavily doped right then the curve one will be uh, what i can say the curve one will represent that scr but for lightly doped regions the curve two is what will represent that particular scr so curve number one is actually the scr with heavily doped regions and curve number two will be the scr characteristic for lightly doped fine so heavily doped scr requires less gate voltage fine to make the same amount of current flow as compared to the scr number two so this is the two different curves now here you can see fine this is b fine if i just join this b to c c to d right d to e e to f and f to g right g to h and again b so this particular zone over here this particular zone over here in between so we must operate this scr in this zone fine we must operate the scr in this zone which zone from fine b c d e f g h and back to b right so this the curve representing or joining these points fine this is the zone where we must operate the scr fine okay now let us continue to discuss further fine what uh, does this another what i can say these rest of all curves also represent here see the curve between d and d the point between d and d right the curve which joins this d and e this is what written as pgav average power average power at gate right fine so we must also take care that the average power across the gate should also be maintained fine it, even it should not exceed else uh, it would damage the gate junction fine uh, due to overheat indirectly damaging the scr itself so this is also very important thing fine another important thing here you can see the dotted line but before that let us even clear this fine what is this point a and this say for example if uh, this is point something if i just write it b here what i mean okay what is this point a and b then fine so i hope you have studied the dc load line concept in the past fine dc load line concept dc load line concept in the past i hope you have studied this fine so if you have studied this you could just easily get this what is this line being drawn between this point a and b for example here now this line is actually called as dc load line right this line is actually called as dc load line line drawn between this a and b right now how would we find this point a how would we find this point a fine this is nothing but the uh, maximum allowable voltage right and considering the uh, gate as zero fine so uh, this is point where we can say the gate current is zero fine and what is this point b it is nothing but when the uh, gate voltage is zero and that would be the maximum current right so we just join these two points and this line is said to be the load line right and even what i can say this line even also can help us to uh, calculate the value of resistance required fine that should be connected in series with the source and gate terminal so this load line is actually nothing but also the ratio of voltage and current right so and ratio of voltage to the current is nothing but helps to give you the value of resistance so we can even find out the value of the uh, source resistance fine which is actually being connected in series so let me just draw a simple what i can say a diagram so so if say this is an scr fine this is gate terminal so this is the resistor what we can connect to the gate terminal and to this resistor we are going to connect the 
gate voltage right so this is plus minus vg and this could be rs so we can just find out this value of rs as well fine now but okay so if this point a and b is clear if this dc load line is clear right then let us now uh, discuss about this tangent being drawn here between this point uh, a and e fine so this dotted line actually uh, helps us to uh, select or helps us or allows us to get the uh, minimum value of the rs value fine so with this if this tangent line is being preferred i mean nothing but the ratio of the voltage and current fine we would uh, actually get an opportunity to find out the minimum possible resistance value that could be connected over here and what is the benefit of that see this uh, minimum resistance actually helps to reduce the power loss and can or even can help to uh, reduce the you know, I've just mentioned right reduce the power loss or indirectly it will help us to reduce the heat being dissipated fine so because you know the formula for power i square r right so the lower possible value of resistance helps us to do that so this preferring this tangent can help us to get the lower possible value of resistance so now i hope uh, most of the thing of this characteristic are being cleared fine uh, this is non triggered voltage means this part of voltage is where uh, scr cannot be triggered so basically if you want to use the scr just prefer this particular b c d e f g h portion of this characteristic so if you operate scr in this portion of the characteristic this is where we can then use it satisfactorily and this is s1 s2 s these are nothing but the operating points so usually operating points better operating point could be this fine fine so another important thing is we have already discussed this in past that if the gate current if maximum gate current maximum possible gate current is allowed to flow through the scr fine considering it is well within the range so that it could not damage the scr so if this is allowed to flow through the scr then switching time will be less fine the time taken by the uh, scr would be less so indirectly if the switching time is reduced if the switching time is reduced then we could say it operates faster right so for its faster operation uh, we should take care that the gate current should be as large as possible but definitely well within the range of operation without being damaged right so let us continue to discuss further fine now here you can see this is a simple diagram where we can use it for triggering of an scr right triggering of an scr now one thing uh, what we can have is a continuous triggering fine continuous triggering right so this uh, diagrammatic example shown over here is an example of an continuous triggering why because we have applied a continuous dc to this gate via this resistor so we are just continuously allowing the gate current to flow through the scr so that it could be uh, maintained into on state so it should be continuously triggered now what is limitation over here is as the scr is continuously being triggered here so the average power right now so i'll just write it over here average power fine average power is actually given by a formula of the uh, ratio of what i can say or even we can say duty cycle right duty cycle okay duty cycle so what is average power is actually product of the duty cycle and the maximum power now here in this case fine as we have already um, discussed that it's a continuous triggering in continuous triggering fine uh, pulses so of course not pulse but a uh, triggering signal which is applied to the gate terminal will be continuous in nature so because of that fine so the overall as the gate is being triggered continuously so amount of power loss will be more but now if you want to reduce the average power loss fine we have an another technique fine number two is pulse triggering pulse triggering now what we can achieve is instead of triggering the gate continuously we are going to trigger 
it in pulses right we are going to trigger it in pulses why because see we have already discussed this in previous video session as well ki once scr is turned on once scr is turned on fine gate loses control fine or gate could not then turn off the scr right now so even once if the scr is turned on we can even remove the gate signal fine because it would not definitely turn off the scr right so we can remove the gate thereby reducing the power loss fine so that is what we are uh, going to do here in this pulse kind of triggering what we are going to do in pulse triggering we are going to apply a pulse for say a duration t1 for example and for next duration t2 we are going not going to apply any pulse fine again after fixed interval time fine with the same duration t1 we are going to apply pulse again of the same duration t2 we are not going to apply any gate pulse so this will assure fine this will assure right the gate to be triggered and to remain on but at the same time here where we are not going to apply any pulse for this t2 duration fine so the average or the power loss fine power loss will be reduced now there is one more benefit as see if we are applying the pulses to the gate instead of this continuous triggering if you are applying this pulses to the gate one thing we can do is we can increase the uh, gate current right we can increase the gate current fine i mean the amplitude of pulse can be even higher than that what in the case of continuous triggering so here if we keep the uh, pulse of an uh, i mean amplitude of this pulse greater fine that would actually help to increase that would actually help to increase the gate current so by keeping or increasing the amplitude of this pulse the gate current increases and benefit of increasing gate current is what we have already discussed there fine benefit of increasing gate current is the switching time will be reduced and wherein by scr operates faster so uh, on one side we can just increase the amplitude increase the gate current help to switch the uh, on i mean helps to switch reduce the switching time and helps to uh, switch the scr with a faster rate and at the same time as these are pulses just due to this off state fine of this pulse fine the overall power loss will also be reduced now the same this formula fine average power fine average power here you can see this duty cycle so what is duty cycle t1 by total time that is on time upon total time into the maximum loss fine so this is you can see due to this reduced on time fine so average power will be reduced so by using the pulse triggering technique the average power will be reduced we can help that uh, to increase the switching speed with increasing the gate current so this is also the benefit what we can have so this is what we can just understand from the gate characteristic that just by applying the pulse triggering to the scr we assure that scr remains in on state thereby also increasing the gate current we can get the faster operation of an scr we must also take care that the uh, operating point should reside between this region shown on the characteristic that is between b c d e f g h and b uh, the value of resistor should be somewhere around near to this tangent or we can say near to this pg average curve so that if there is less value of this source resistor fine that could also help to reduce the power loss near the gate junction fine okay so this is uh, where or why this is why we, to understand the gate characteristic is important so as to use or operate the scr uh, properly without being damaged so uh, i hope i have made the things simple over here for you to understand about the gate characteristic so i think everything is clear if you have any doubt could post your question into the comment section of my video uh, so that i could help you to resolve that and i hope you have understood this concept very well and i think uh, you should like and share this video with your friends thank you